Hello, welcome back. This is a follow-up to our previous video on baiting for early detection of Phytophthora. In this video, we will talk about how to rapidly test plant samples for the presence of Phytophthora. Phytophthora is a Greek word that means plant destroyer. Phytophthora is a genus of plant pathogens that can cause serious damage to ornamentals, agricultural crops, forests, and other natural ecosystems. There are over 160 species of Phytophthora and still counting. Phytophthora causes many different diseases and the most common Phytophthora disease symptoms are leaf blight, shoot dieback, root rot, wilting, damping off, and stem or bowl cankers. Once these symptoms are spotted, it is easy to test the deceased plants with the available Phytophthora detection kits. The Phytophthora detection kits have been specifically designed to test symptomatic plant material. So if you have an infected tissue, you can directly test it with these kits. But what about symptomless plants or any other substrates that are contaminated with Phytophthora? Phytophthora infected plants sometimes does not show any symptoms for long time. Any delay in the detection of Phytophthora due to lack of symptoms can cause huge economic losses to growers. Phytophthora can also produce dormant spores. These spores can survive without host in soil for a long time. These spores can contaminate the materials and supplies used for the plant production. It is therefore important to test these materials for Phytophthora contamination. But you cannot use the available detection kits directly to test the contamination. So how can you test these propagation materials? The answer is baiting. We recommend growers to do baiting before using Phytophthora detection kits. You can bait with either fungicide free pears or rhododendron leaves. And then use Phytophthora detection kits on the bait tissue showing lesions. For more information, check out our training video on baiting for early detection of Phytophthora. Using this approach, one can easily test irrigation water, potting mix, compost, and recycled containers associated with the plant production for the presence of Phytophthora. There are two Phytophthora detection kits available in the market today. These are called Phytophthora Rapid Test from Pocket Diagnostic and Immunostrip Test for Phytophthora from Agdia. And depending on the number of tests you purchase, one test may cost somewhere between 6 to 12 US dollars. Both of these detection kits are portable, easy to use, and are well suited for on-site detections. Both tests can detect Phytophthora in less than 10 minutes. These kits require no special skills and are less expensive than laboratory testing for Phytophthora. They can detect Phytophthora but cannot identify which species are present in the sample. Agdia's kit is also known to cross-react with some Pythium species. In this video, I will show you how to use the Pocket Diagnostic Phytophthora Rapid Test Kit. A single pocket diagnostic test comes with a lateral flow device sealed in an airtight pouch. This pouch must be opened right before use. The pathogen extraction buffer is provided in a small plastic bottle containing metal beads. These beads allow for easy crushing of the plant material by simply shaking the bottle. The test also provides an instructional sheet and a dropper to load sample onto the lateral flow device. I have a schematic here to demonstrate how this lateral flow device works. The lateral flow device has a circular well to load the sample and a rectangular frame to observe results. Labels T and C mean test and control. This device has Phytophthora antibodies lined up at T and control antibodies lined up at C. When you load the sample in the well, it flows through the device and reacts with the respective antibodies to produce a color band. If there is no Phytophthora, there is no reaction with the Phytophthora antibodies and only one blue band will appear at C, as shown here. If Phytophthora is present, Two blue bands will appear, one at T and other at C.
While this kit can be used to test symptomatic leaves, roots and stem tissue, we are going to focus on testing leaf pains. It is a three-step process and these steps also apply to other tissue types. The first step is pathogen extraction. Make sure to collect from edges of the diseased area as shown in the yellow boxes. Cut the bait tissue into small pieces. If you have two leaf baits from the same sample, use a small portion of bait tissue from both leaves. Make sure the bait tissue collected for this test should not exceed 25 mm square, which is roughly equal to the size of a quarter. Once you add the bait tissue to the extraction buffer, close the lid tight and vigorously shake the bottle for 30 to 60 seconds to crush the tissue. Sample debris or air bubbles can interfere with the test. So after you are done shaking the bottle, let the bottle sit undisturbed for 30 seconds to allow debris to settle down. Remove the lateral flow device from the sealed pouch. Keep it on a flat surface. Using the dropper that comes with the kit, carefully draw up the liquid and start the test by adding 2 to 3 drops of the liquid to the circular sample well. Make sure you don't exceed over 3 drops. The result bands will start to appear after 3 minutes. This test is completed in under 10 minutes, so make sure to read the results within 10 minutes of sample loading and ignore any changes that may occur after this time. If you see only one band at C, it means the test is negative or Phytophthora is not present in the sample. If you see one band at T and another at C, it, in, it means the test is positive and Phytophthora is present in the sample. Even a faint band should be considered positive. If you do not see any bands within 10 minutes, it means the test has failed and results are inconclusive. The test must be repeated in this case. To purchase the pocket diagnostic kit, please visit the web links provided on the screen. U.S. growers can also obtain this kit from their sales representative in the United States. Note that this test can only indicate presence or absence of Phytophthora and cannot give any information on species identification. If you are interested in knowing the species ID, you can send baits or plant samples directly to the plant disease clinics. So folks, this was all on how to use a rapid test kit to detect Phytophthora in plant samples. Thanks for watching.